The views or opinions expressed in this video are solely my own and do not necessarily reflect those of any other person or company. Well, hello again, good people. Uh, here we are at the French airport of Air, which serves the city of Toulon on the Mediterranean coast. The airport is shared with the French naval aviation arm and there are several squadrons of helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft based on the southwestern side of the airport. Today we're looking at the Bruges 1050 Alize, which was a French carrier-based anti-submarine warfare aircraft developed in the 1950s. It was powered by a single Rolls-Royce Dart turboprop engine. It was equipped with Sonoboys and a CSF radar system with a retractable antenna dome. It could also carry a Mark 43 torpedo or depth charges. The cockpit accommodated a crew of three, pilot, navigator and radar operator. 89 aircraft were built from 1957 and went into service with the French and Indian Navy. The last of these was taken out of service in 2000. This model is freeware from the Restoravia site and comes with four liveries. I put a link to the site in the comments below. I've also put a link uh, to a site which describes the Elise along with its carrier operations. The Elise is an interesting aircraft to fly. Restoravia have done a good job in providing a number of animations to show off its character. The wings can be folded, the canopy opened, and the ladder extended, uh, the radome can be deployed, and also the tail hook. So let's have a look inside. Okay, Restoravia have done a reasonable job of the interior. The textures are perhaps a little flat, haven't really got that much depth to them, uh, but the, the cockpit instruments, they're, they're fine, they're, they're, they're great. Um, there are a lot of instruments here, and uh, I estimate that um, perhaps two thirds have been modelled uh, within the confines of what X-Plane can achieve, otherwise you have to do some fancy programming. Yeah, the, um, uh, the pilots aren't very good at all, unfortunately. Never mind, moving swiftly on. In, in the back there, there is the radar operator, um, who has a very important job. But uh, unfortunately, his, although his radar does work, he's only got one button that works here which is to change the radar magnification. So, back in the cockpit, uh, we can open the canopy, of course, and close it again. Okay, from outside, you can see the ladder, uh, the step ladder is out and needs to be retracted. So down on the left-hand side, there's a little lever that uh, you can push down and it should uh, retract the ladder. Okay, it's back up, good. I think we're ready to start the engine. Okay, starting the engine isn't particularly complex. I'm using the documentation which came with the aircraft, uh, which uh, fortunately is uh, all in French, so I had to use um, Google Translate to translate a, a big chunk of the, of the document so that I could understand it. So we're looking at the starting procedure now. And as I say, it's uh, not particularly difficult. You can actually uh, cheat and use an automatic button which will start the engine, but uh, we'll, we'll do the proper procedure. So I'll just go down the before starting procedure. First of all, make sure the park brake is on. Turn on the battery. But uh, you make sure that the uh, it's reading around about 24 volts on the volt gauge. Turning on the lighting, so the strobes and the navigation lights. Some of the steps I won't bother with. Uh, we've got autopilot, uh, LED tests hold the doors, um, I think that means check the doors, make sure the fuel level is uh, okay, anti-icing cross, which I think actually means hook, so that is the tail hook, 
if you look into the central console, you've got a, a button here which uh, lowers the, the tail hook down for carrier landing. And then you press the button again and it goes up. Okay, good. Uh, the radar, you check that it's up. I'm not going to deploy it. Uh, I'll do that while we're in flight. But uh, the gauge there shows you that the radar is up. Cycle the power controller and uh, make sure the mixture controller is on. Okay, make sure the wings are locked. There is locking mechanism for the wings here. I'll just do that. There go, the wings going up. That's pretty cool. And you do the reverse to get the wings back down again. And you make sure they are locked. Okay, startup sequence. We've turned the beacons on. Uh, we've made sure the fuel flow knob is on, 100%. Um, it says about the intercom. Won't worry about that. And ventilation turbine. I don't know what that means. Okay, you press the start selector and then you push the start button and hold it for, it says here, 7 to 10 seconds. Okay, we're letting everything calm down. Sure that uh, everything seems to be working okay, and we are ready to go. Okay, today we're going to take a short flight uh, going down the coast to Mandalu, which is Lima, Foxtrot, Mike, and Delta. Marine 56, wind is 320 at 10 knots, QNH 1013, you are cleared for takeoff on 31. Copy the weather, QNH 1013, cleared for takeoff on runway 31, Marine 56. Get the autopilot on. Uh, it seems to work well. No nasty surprises with the autopilot. I think the sounds of the aircraft, both inside and out, are very well done. Both the spool up and the cruise noise is really good. 
and of course you've also got that uh, lovely turbo prop wine. But just a slight repetition on the outside noise, which uh, is not bothersome. Of course, the documentation and a lot of labels in the aircraft are in French, which I do struggle with. Uh, however, if you hover the mouse cursor over any of the buttons or instruments, it does show a label in English, which is great. The documents have uh, clear diagrams showing what is and is not operable. As I've said before, around about two-thirds of the, the buttons and instruments are operable. The blank screen on the right there is uh, for displaying Abbey tab, which I, I don't have. It's time to deploy the radar. So as you can see, it sticks out quite a long way, which is uh, which makes it important that you do retract it before you try to land. And uh, down below there is the aircraft carrier. I did try to uh, do some uh, landing on the aircraft carrier, but I could fill this short video with uh, scenes of me bouncing off the deck and into the sea or crashing into the side of the boat. So I uh, decided not to do that in the end. Right, autopilot off. Let's line up for Mandalu. Mandalu Tower, Green 56 on final for runway 35. Green 56, cleared to land runway 35. Clear to land, runway 35, Marine 56. Okay, we're lined up. Landing lights on. Flaps down. Gear down. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this flight in the Elise. I think the aircraft has good characteristics. It's easy to fly with nice animations and it's uh, an unusual subject. Please visit the Restoravia website to download the Elise and many other great aircraft. And with that, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.